All right, so welcome back. Hopefully all of you guys are having a fabulous day here today. So I went through all these posts over here. I'm gonna show this on uh, on screen here in a second. We're gonna talk about the stuff over here. The community has spoken on the context of the anniversary. The anniversary, again, is basically the next season. That's the entire point here. Um, I'm guessing hype up starts two weeks prior. So within a week, Hopefully within a week, we start getting some information on what the anniversary has in store for us. Uh, the thing is, I just hope the anniversary does release pretty well. Again, the thing that I'm more so afraid of is the same thing that my last video's comment section uh, kind of said. I've been saying it here and there in like a very bit and pieces sort of way. I'll, I'll screenshot and put it on screen right now. Here you go. They better start announcing and teasing something, uh, what is it, fiery, sparking content soon. Uh, or else a uh, number of the players will be down to zero. If you know, you know. Uh, and that's basically referring to another game that's coming out. And it's going to be a pretty big game. That, that that game is going to be... It's nuts. It's going to be nuts. Let's be honest here. And obviously, you're going to see a dip in the player base for MHAUR. It's going to happen. It's bound to happen. Um, obviously, it's two different player bases. One's a paid game. One's a free-to-play game. One's a battle royale. One's very far different. Correct? But it's still true that, you know, Ultra Rumble is in a bit of a... An area where they're going to have like a big hitter release right after. And again, it's a Bandai game, whatever, whatever. It's a similar player base in a way. It is. It really is, right? So I am hoping that the anniversary has something really sick for the game uh, that could like keep players playing. But we shall see. We shall see. And uh, when, when Sparky comes out, you might see Sparky content. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? All right. But let's see. New to the channel, like and subscribe, host on the side. Let's hop into it. Just a little bit more of a lengthier intro. But I did want to say that because it is a, a big thing on my mind and 52 other people's mind. So let me know what you think. But hopping over here. So I'm going to show a bunch of screenshots. Or actually, I'm just going to, yeah, I'll, I'll do it in uh, editing format. Well, you'll see when, when I edit it. But uh, basically, there's this Reddit post over here Season 7 Anniversary Wishlist. I'm curious to hear what you all think um, or want so that we should get again from the anniversary. We all know realistically that we're going to get agency points and 10 roll tickets but what do you guys think we deserve the funniest thing is here it's sad that the amount of players right uh, they think this anniversary is going to suck is is it's just sad overall right the amount of players that actually think it bro devs that, that's how much you fumbled <laughs> that's literally how much you fumbled if you have that much of the community thinking you're not going to do anything for the anniversary it is sad to realize that but it is true correct uh we have this comment over here again bug fixes and 2,000 tickets man's is coping man's wants that right um you mean 2k gallery points that's what i'm what i'm expecting 2k gallery points um damn man's just killed his uh, dbz is cool man's just killed his entire mood <laughs> god damn it dude guaranteed quirk skill set gotcha that's what i'm actually thinking I i'm most likely thinking we're gonna get a guaranteed quirk skill set gotcha like in my opinion the best thing for the anniversary would be straight up hear me out release hawks release like you know, like, like imagine it's like day one of the of the game they release that remember that that triple uh, ca uh character from like the ua students imagine they did that for the anniversary three characters just for free for everyone to use and have fun with could you imagine like bro that's like a dream come true. I know it's not content, but three free characters. Imagine they're all just character ticket characters. Oh my god, the devs would have won me over right there. Like we get Jiro, we get we get um who else? We get uh Shoji. Who else could we get from the uh the cloud? Shinso, correct class uh whatever, he's not class B, but whatever, whatever, right? Um it would be so peak. It would literally be so peak if that was like a thing, you know what I mean? Uh Monoma, who knows, right? There there's Shinzo, Monoma in the files. We also get Jiro somehow, who knows? We I don't know, man. Imagine that crazy update bro if that happened but um instead we're just gonna get honks and then 2000 pity increase right 4000 pity altogether uh moving forward never gonna happen but i would like to um if they release three new wow what the fudge i just said that yeah i swear i didn't read this um and gave us 2000 tickets um that uh that way they're essentially giving us a free character uh, and two or more um to roll if we want honestly dude if they were to release multiple characters and they were to give one for free and no one's gonna complain obviously everyone's gonna be happy but um you know if they were to give one character for free two characters paid for even i would be for, uh, happy with it i wouldn't care if there are two characters I i'm just excited to have more things released in the game but again i doubt that they're doing much there and then again there's elite game mode uh there is elite game mode i don't know if you know about this but we don't know it's it's, an, it's been there for so long where i can't tell you anything it's been there for so long so i don't know if it's ever going to come true but if it were to i would love to see a new game mode uh yes i forgot the details but it seemed all right i think it came from the voice lines about protecting a person or thing might be like cap to the flag or for king of the hill imagine we had cap to the flag bro <laughs> what we could have had king of the hill bro like domination or or uh, hard point. Oh my god, dude. Why can't we have it? Why? Why, man? Um, we have this over here. Premium login. Bonus back. Oh my god. Dreams. Maybe a new game mode. Oh my god. Dreams. A decent bit of roll tickets. Like 100 plus would be dope. In my opinion, if the anniversary is anything less than 250 tickets, 
it's L <laughs> automatically because you have to realize that's like that's 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 a, a very small amount uh, compared to how much the gacha actually is. It's still one tenth of the gacha. So if it's anything below two hundred, let's say two hundred, it's an L. But um, two hundred should be two hundred plus should be the free tickets. But uh, make more characters purchasable with character tickets. A reworked gacha system. Those are my top five wants. I mean, pretty good, pretty good. Again, let me know in the comments what you guys want. I haven't really gauged my own community, so I might I might make a video for my community to see what they want. So again, use the comment section to uh, kind of give me your opinion, but I've already given you my opinion many times before. All I want to see is just a changed game, right? I want to see a new mode, maybe some revamped uh, ticket systems, maybe some sort of fun um, new thing that's like consi uh, consistently and constantly changing. Uh, for example, we have our current boring events. I had some new ones in there, man. It's been, it's been how long? We only had agency event, which was leaked since the beginning, so. Not much worked on in that department, but I just want, again, the game to feel alive again. That's really all I want, but, um, you know, it's what it is. At this point, the best ending gift would be um, I never want is for them to fix the servers so no more lag and have them fix the bugs in the game. Please fix servers. I want to do this as well uh, on console as I do on PC. I'll be satisfied if they add elite game mode and nothing else. And look at that, six people. Again, it, that's how bad it is that we all <laughs> just want one thing, to be happy. Uh, if they were to uh, release that elite game mode, and if it is like a actually good game mode, they would have won me over too, bro. I'd be super happy about that. The new game mode and a crap ton of gotcha tickets would be nice. Um, I want to see something meaningful, balance changes from the top to slash worst characters, bug fixes and something like a new map. The game became so stale to me because of the very poor balancing, bugs, and lack of content that at this point, I play like um, half an hour every three days or so. I think I'm out. Otherwise, I'm already one foot outside the door. Guaranteed character, a bunch of old tickets, and we might only get that many gallery pieces. Um, at the minimum, I'd be fine with crossplay. Um, damn, that's tough. Uh, stuff I actually want is usually, again, balance changes, uh, skill sets as they're probably some of the strongest, twice uh, twice nerfs, and basically, or basically guaranteed as he's about to go on the character ticket, and please devs buff and fix a bara. The biggest want is Monoma, as people probably already know, um, and maybe a uh, second character. I would, I want a second character so bad, bro. It's, it's so dumb that we can't do multiple characters here and there. Uh, like, instead of a double, instead of a skill kit, just release a character. It's good for the game's economy, actually, because you're, you're getting the character ticket updated quicker. We want that the faster that character gets updated the better it is for free to play so it's never bad if they release two characters it's actually good for the game uh because again you're you're quickly getting the character ticket updated faster for example all for one in one season twice and all for one will hit the character ticket just like that which is good we want that um but yeah i'd also want a new game mode anniversary seems like the best time to release it characters already have voice lines for it uh, and then again yeah the same present mic thing but a uh, new game mode um yeah this is this is the, the devs the people don't have faith in the devs dude I'm, i'll be honest with you the step of banner um what is it three characters released the return of premium login bonus loads of bug fixes proper crossplay new modes um and being able to use rental tickets for quirk skill sets <sighs> someday man someday uh why are you pretending like it's going to be anything more than 1k gallery uh, 1k agency points 300 gallery uh, pieces of all kinds and potentially an odd number of roll tickets like seven and of course some new items for the gotcha for our favorite characters that make us want to again spend money to pity it it's called hope my friend <laughs> dude i'm with him honestly it's like that's that's what we expect here and I, a better anti-cheat system basically but Crossplay, a few things over here. For the most part, again, a lot of people are begging for that game mode. We were talking about that stuff there. Again, somebody made this over here, which is kind of what I was thinking. Um, Dobby, I don't think so because he's pretty new, actually. But um, anniversary idea, I posted this a while back. I thought it would be perfect for the anniversary. Play, make like a skill set, guaranteed skill set role like we had one for the anniversary. Half anniversary. It was, again, a horrible banner. But maybe they do a good one for the first anniversary because, again, it's the first freaking anniversary. But um, I am curious, again, what you think here. Um, people are making predictions over here. First anniversary prediction costumes. These ones over here. All Might's over here. Um, and then, again, new character, Nomu. New game mode, maybe. But, you know, again, uh, I don't know. I am hoping. I don't know why this was marked NSFW, but it's not. So let me just let me just not <laughs> go to that. I don't know what happened there. I don't know what happened. Uh, I think this is my prediction for the anniversary over here. Uh, skill set guaranteed role. But, um yeah, it's kind of the same thing that I was expecting. It's just Todoroki's brand new and, and Dobby's too brand new to me. I think they're going to go for these three. But um, yeah, they barely had any new characters in the last guaranteed character role. We'll be lucky if Red uh, Deku and Bakugo come out at best. Oof. But yeah, let me know what you think. Quick little video. I just want to talk about, again, the community's uh, hope. What they're hoping for. What they're expecting. What they want. What do you want? What do you think? What do you expect? But um. I'll be honest, I think that it's mainly just going to be uh, 2,000 agency points, uh, 1,000 gallery points, and that's being that's being generous. I should cut that value down in, uh, to a third, but, you know, we'll see. I have a bit of hope because, you know, sparking releases right after, and that will kill the game. 
<laughs> that, that that has the ability to uh to definitely take a good chunk of the player base but 